So hello guys, so what's the view cost like? Damn it, So do you wanna see the time lapse video of this same view? I know that's like no man chal, right? So let's watch. Ooh, why always me? Ooh, oh, like I'm Balu Delhi. Ooh, oh, why always me? Ooh, oh, like I'm Balu Delhi, Delhi, Delhi. So hello guys, welcome, welcome. Look at my indicator. My indicator got broke, man. Look at this, guys. It hurts, man. It hurts. <laughs> but no worries, I got extra indicator. So let's go to Rani Pool and let's change it. Oh, it is parked very congested, you. How to take it out? So yeah, let's go. Hello G. Ka baat hai G? So guys, right now I'm here at capital of Sikkim, the beautiful Gangtok. Okay, let's do this. The weather right now here is very humid. I'm sweating from inside. Okay. Thank you. Visit again. Okay. I'm gonna visit again. I'm going nowhere. So hello, Kamli Namaste, Tashi Dilay to everybody. My name is Ongden, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Jitgit Throttler. So right now I'm heading towards Rani Pool to fix my indicator, and I'm also gonna do chain wash and bike wash for my Dhanno <laughs> for my bike. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about rep matching. So I'm not gonna make it complicated for you guys. I'm gonna keep as simple as possible so that it will be easier for me to explain and it will be easier for you to understand. So if you guys don't know what is rep matching, let me explain you first what is rep matching. Rep matching is a technique used to downshift gears on a motorcycle to explain the science behind it in a layman fashion. It is the act of matching the speed of a motorcycle engine with that of the transmission when shifting down a gear. This can be avoided by simply rep matching while downshifting. So yeah, this is what rep matching is. So in simple language, rep matching is nothing but the timing between three things and those three things are your accelerator, your clutch and your downshift. If you are a rider, you might know what is downshift and there is no vast difference between normal downshift and rep matching. No offense to any religion. I respect every religion and yeah let's not change the topic let's come to the main topic I forgot where was I guys remind me <laughs> comment down below where was I so okay yeah <clears throat> so rep matching is nothing but timing between three things your throttle and your clutch and your downshift so if you do normal downshift uh, without rep matching it uh, you will feel jerk while downshifting so let me give you a demo about normal downshift whether it will give you jerk or not let this burst pass okay let's go so I'm in okay let's go so I'm in gear number three let's change it into four and <laughs> because of jam I'm not able to perform demo man so yeah let's go in fourth gear and let's downshift into third without rep matching it so guys while doing rep matching you have to blip your throttle as soon as you give a clutch to your bike while downshifting so if you give a blip to your throttle 
your RPM level comes up and it will match with your speed so let's do a quick normal downshift so yeah I performed a normal downshift just now so so I think you saw the jerk while downshifting so if you downshift your bike by matching it you won't feel any jerk because as soon as you give a clutch you will bleep the throttle and the rpm level gets high and if rpm level gets high your rpm level will match the speed of your bike because if you match your rpm with your bike speed the rear tire will be free to flow so while cornering also it helps a lot so if you guys downshift normally while cornering uh, your rear tire will get locked and you will have ch high chance of crashing so to prevent yourself from crashing you have to learn rip matching even i have just started to learn it and uh, I'd he is also a motor vlogger and his channel name is pistonate rider shout out to pistonate rider and, uh, and yeah i have talked to him about making video about his modified ninja 300 and yeah comment down below whether you guys want that video or not so i have explained you about rep matching now let's perform it let's stop it over here and i'm gonna i'm gonna place my mic somewhere near exhaust so that you can hear the exhaust note while bipping i mean while rep matching it a few moments later yes guys i think you guys heard the blipping while rep matching it so yeah actually i was supposed to hit towards gear hits but since i haven't finished my vlog so let's finish my vlog first i mean just look at this let me take out this first Just leave it guys, I, I think it's not going to come out uh, So guys right now I'm confused whether I've finished my vlog or not Have I missed anything to explain you guys? See guys this happens when you vlog You forget everything Before vlogging you will have lots of ideas but while vlogging this happens <laughs> So yeah, I don't think there is anything left over. So yes guys, now I'll be giving a quick conclusion to my video. So yeah, basically rep matching is nothing but the timing between your accelerator, your clutch and your downshift. So yeah, if you do it in perfect timing, it is known as rep matching as simple as that. Yeah, I know no one can do it perfectly in the first itself. Everyone fails in the first try, even I failed in my first try. So yeah keep practicing on your daily rides so yeah to be a pro in rep matching you just need to practice it on your daily rides it might be a bit difficult for beginner riders not only for beginner rider but for experienced rider also it will be a bit difficult if you haven't performed rep matching before so it will be difficult for a 
experienced rider too so yes guys practice on your daily rides practicing is the key to be a pro in everything and yeah i'm gonna end my video over here do comment down below whether my short information about rep matching helped you or not so yes guys that's it for today thanks so much for making me part of your day bye bye take care ride hard ride safe gdk throttler signing off let me give you a last rep match So guys you can also do a multiple rep matching if you are in high gear you have to if you have to oh man that you come out on the back so yeah guys uh, you can do a multiple rep match too if you are in high gear and you have to downshift shift two to three gear down so you can do multiple rep matching let me show you how multiple rep matching is done so right now i'm in fifth gear i'm gonna do multiple rep matching so yeah i dropped three gears